you've got an impressive gatehouse with big towers. Don't go for a pokey little wall to go with it. Build something large and impressive. This tutorial will show you how. These walls are tailor designed for these towers but can be used on their own. If you want a tutorial for the towers, follow the link in the description below. To make the walls you'll need the following. Lots of stone bricks and lots of cobblestone, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, cobblestone wall, dark oak fence, dark oak slabs, ladders, torches, spruce trap doors and if you want some lanterns. Let's pop into my tutorial world and get started. It's got the same core as that wall over there. Cobblestone five blocks high. Top off the core with a row of stone brick blocks. That should give you a floor level with the bottommost door of your tower. The front and backs of this wall are slightly different to each other. So we'll start with the front. As usual, it's a repeating pattern. Stone brick all the way along to a height of six. And now every second block, we're gonna put another column of six. Now these bricks behind, with the exception of the top one, won't actually be seen. So if you want to substitute cobble for those, rather than dress stone, go ahead. In each of these recesses, right way up stone brick stair and at the top, an upside down stone brick stair. Under that, a dark oak fence and under that, a cobblestone wall. You should have a gap of two blocks between the wall and the right way up stone brick stair. Do that for each recess. I actually find it easier to do each row than to do each recess. And now a row of cobblestone wall right the way down the outermost of these columns. Time to come around the back. Again, cover this wall up to a height of six blocks with stone brick blocks. Now we're gonna leave a gap of one block from the tower. And we're gonna go up six blocks. And now we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna leave two blocks between each of these columns. And again, if you wanna replace these with cobble, go ahead, but make sure that you leave the top one a stone brick. Now in each recess, right way up stone brick stairs, you leave a gap upside down upside down at the top with two dark oak fence and two cobblestone wall. Do the same all the way along and again it's easier to just do a row at a time. Well I find it easier anyway. And pop a torch on each of the columns. That's the base of the wall, let's move up. Next row let's start at the front because again the front and the back are different. Stone brick blocks all the way along. Right way up stone brick stairs on top of all your cobble walls. And now we're gonna add two stone brick, leave a gap of two, two more stone brick, and do that all the way along. Now we're gonna make arrow loops, so right way up, upside down, right way up, upside down, repeat in every two block gap top with a stone brick block and above every stone brick another one but upside down. It should look like that. If you think there's too many arrow loops feel free to knock out every second one and replace it with stone brick blocks so it'll look like that. Let's work on the back. Row of stone brick blocks Leave one block and on the next one, two stone blocks. Leave a gap of three, two stone blocks. Leave a gap of three, two stone blocks all the way to the end. Run a row of stone blocks right along the top, including up to your tower. And on the outside, 
leave a gap and then upside down stone brick stairs on every second block and fill the gap with cobblestone walls like that. Fill the space in between with stone brick slabs and this should be level with this doorway on your tower. One last thing on this level run a row of dark oak slabs next to the outer wall so you can see out the arrow loops and a torch on every column on the inner wall. Let's go up to the next floor. Outside wall. Stone brick block on top of every upside down stone brick stair and a cobble wall in between. Now two stone brick blocks leave a gap of two two more do that all the way along and we're going to put double arrow loops in each one so one two and then the next ones facing the opposite direction top it all off with a row of stone brick blocks on the back wall cobblestone walls on top of each upside down stone brick stair and dark oak fences on top of each bit of cobblestone wall. Top the whole thing with stone brick slabs bottom half and a dark oak slab right the way along the front wall so that you can see out the arrow loops. Next to the tower one, two, three, four. Now run a row of stone bricks all the way along the top come back and right the way along leave a gap and put two leave a gap and put two back at the tower one two three four again run it right the way along the top this time leave a gap of four one two three four and then one column of brick three high torch on the outside of the innermost wall four ladders. That'll get us up to this level. Okay, along the top here, guess what we're going to do? Cobblestone wall. And every second one, cobblestone wall. And every second one, a stone brick slab. And a torch on top of all the walls. Once you've done that, a row of dark oak slabs all the way along. Back at the beginning, two blocks, one, two, three more, and here one, two, then leave a gap of four and extend each of these pillars up another three. On the front face of the wall, you've got your two here, leave a gap and put one, two, three, four, leave a gap, one, two, three, four and build each of these up to three blocks high. Finish off all the floor with dark oak slabs and run one extra row of dark oak slabs. Come back to the tower, knock out this stone brick block and replace it with a slab. Pop a torch there. Now we're going to top this floor with three rows of stone brick blocks. Now come down into your tower and go up to your storage floor. In the middle wall that adjoins the tower, knock out one, two, three, then the wall and the block above it, put stone brick slab there, take out this block and replace it with a dark oak slab. Replace the next one with a dark oak slab and now along the sides upside down stone brick stairs on this side and on this side. Run our usual crenellations along the top and now finish off the wall with a floor of dark oak slabs. Another way to get tower access is this. First we'll fill in here. 
there it's like we were never here so fill in all of this upper level with dark oak slabs and then take out one two and come directly into the tower pop some torches and that's a quick and simple way in and there is our wall it's quite easy to get this wall to go up in elevation you can um, make the bottom of it deeper or shorter to take into account undulating landscape you can even with a bit of adjustment get it to climb quite steeply it handles different elevations very easily takes a little bit of mucking around to get it to handle curves but it is possible if you are patient so that's the wall I think it goes really well with these towers and the gateway if you want a tutorial for making these click on the end screen or follow the link in the description